Okay, we missed the opening, but red laid a super shot. Uh, these guys went to corner two and then shot at their corner two ball, and then Sharif hit in from the end of B-Bonk. So we're in the fourth turn. And it's still a fourth turn, I think. Shreve took advantage. And it's a leave with a wired trap behind hoop one. And yellow will shoot it red. Hmm. Brian did a takeoff from corner three, leaving red. A little off the corner. And roll yellow to right there. And again, red is in corner three.
He's calling a referee because he has a hampered stroke. And if he hits it, particularly with a beveled edge, that's a fault. So Stuart Lawrence, a McRobb team member from the U.S., is out there doing the officiating. Stewart was eliminated, I think, in the semifinals. I think. I can't remember. I think Jeff Sue beat him. Woo, perfect. <laughs> A new standard league. Leo Nakora just sitting down. And she, Charlie Smith down there. Maybe Rich Curtis. Charlie in the red hat.
And that ball looks like it's rushable to hoop one with no problem. So unless they pick it up, an on-time triple is possible. And since both of those balls for hoop one, for hoop one there's no polarity to worry about. There's Nick Gray and Steve Mossbrook, the guys who run the Mission Hills Croquet Club. Nick on the right, Steve on the left. Trying to avoid a double from the end of a balk as well as any shot for blue. So let's see what the boys decide to do. There they are, thinking about it. This could be their last shot, so they're considering it very carefully. If blue is rushable to hoop one, my understanding is they really ought to move blue because it makes the triple easier. There's probably a eight hour time limit for all three games. So there's no time pressure on them right now. So he decided the advantage of the short shot was not worth the advantage it gave them if he missed. <clears throat> so he'll come to corner three and shoot from A bonk, I mean B bonk. He's going to hit this pretty hard, so pay attention. He shot it blue, and he hit it. <laughs> He's been practicing sex tuples. Maybe he'll give it a whirl. No, but if he sets it up, then Dan has to run it, so that probably won't work. He's banking on coming back. Uh-oh. Did it right? <coughs> Sharif, you're the man.
And the TPO is on. <laughs> work because the success rate is like 50% at best. It's just like the triple peel we saw earlier, only it's a little tricky. They've got control back immediately.
that route. And he was supposed to be an escape ball for after the peel, but he's got to make sure he doesn't run into it when he makes the hoop. Stuart Lawrence gets to come be referee again because it's so hampered by multiple balls. And you mark everything so that if he commits a fault and the opponent <coughs> Elects restitution, you can put all the balls back where they were. <clears throat> the opponent will have the choice, if there is a fall, of putting them back or leaving them where they stop. Oh no, it went through. He was trying just to put it in the jaws so that he could rush peel it after one back. He got the peel, but now it's difficult to dig out. <laughs> and now how to dig out yellow so we can get the last peel. Actually, what he planned to do, I believe. Ooh, I love it. He's going to use the Pele as the pioneer <coughs> so we can rush it back to. Uh, Rover and peel it after three back.
He does, of course, have to go to peg to do this in order to peg out the opponent ball, so he'll leave, he'll give um, red a contact lead in the red versus blue and black game that will commence. He wanted red further behind the hoop. So he's not going to get the peel now, but he'll still get it when he makes rover. side of the hoop. Tricky. <clears throat> that means he has to come back after four back and clean that up. Probably. That's why he left yellow sh blue short. Well, let's see if he does. Yeah, because he's got to come back up and clean up the Peely at Rover before he makes Pinal. That's a problem. Because he will not be able to rush. He's got a cannon yellow out of the way now in order to get it into peeling position.
So he's setting up a cannon where he knocks red into yellow, gets yellow off the wire of the hoop, and then he, if he's lucky, depending on where black ends up, oh, we got it. So now he can use blue. <laughs> this is so cool. We can't do an aspen on peel because he doesn't have an escape ball. <laughs> to try on. This may not go well. Oh my goodness. He got it. <laughs> now he has to get the yellow to peg it out and spread everything else around so that red doesn't have anything from his contact lead. <laughs> Almost hit me. Okay, because the peg is now working as a good wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's a nice job, man. Right. It's a long way to go, but it's a long way to go, and you can coach me on the two on one game. Okay, they opted for distance. I don't make any grievous error. Let's see what <laughs> red elects. So the guy who seems to be playing best in this tournament is about to see what he can make out of this contact lead. Must have stayed in from a crowd reaction.
and the hat reappears. He's going to try to shoot it. <clears throat> That's the Polar Bear Club over there. Jim Butts, Rich Curtis, Charlie Smith, and look at all those dudes. And Doug Grimsley in the baseball cap. <clears throat> so he's still in the jaws, but now he can come on down. That probably means that black from here goes to set a rushing corner four for blue to hoop one. Because blue is on the corner spot in corner four. And he left it fairly wide because otherwise he would have left the double for. Rich Lamb to shoot into. Never a good position to be in. Oh, 
Can they wire him and give him a rush at the same time? If they're not responsible for it, they can wire him all they want. Reef didn't like that position, and he knows that if you give Rich Lamb a three ball break, it's over. And now he can give Blue a wired rush on its hoop so that Red can't take the shot. Makes it interesting. <clears throat> I 
Red off the line and then do a load and hold. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, try. Red light. Red may not be all that far away this way, though. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Stop shot.
gosh. A little bit more, I was thinking that too. Yep. Okay, so you want a little more. I was. Yeah, we don't want it. No, we don't want it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. Do this? Yeah. Okay. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, that's a terrible shot. Sorry. That was crap. Ooh. Now they're in trouble. <laughs> Sharif did a Beautiful. I'm going to let Rich Lamb take this shot, then I'm going to quit because I've got to go. Okay, by the single ball for the first time. <laughs> <laughs>